Hello and welcome to Lady Sunshine. Today we're going to have a let's play of Medieval Dynasty. So we're going to start a new game and customize it. Since I would like to have four days of season. And uh, I would also have to have unlimited weight because I can't go without it. I'm a little bit of a get everything you can. And let's see, uh, fast crafting, that's also one new thing, which is really nice, because uh, you don't have to wait for everything to be finished, and it can take ages. Okay, so that's all we're going to get, we will leave uh, the events and everything else as it is, and we will start a new game, since uh, the 1.0 version just came out, so let's watch the video. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north. For weeks, I held on to that thought tell the valley from my mother's stories. I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Okay, so he had a very hard journey, I would guess. And we're starting. After the loading screen, of course. Yeah, I played in beta and in early access. It was really nice. Um, but since the release, it had a lot of changes, which make me enjoy the game much more. Okay, so here we are. Um, and let's try to find our first quest marker, which is here. There's the whole valley and well we're going to try to get as much stuff as we can while going through the woods you always need it and since we have unlimited inventory space um, we can do that so that's the valley here we are it's quite nice I think And of course, the first flowers we can pick. Um, they introduced more flowers for this release. And we're even able to make alchemy. And I'm quite looking forward to that. There should be some kind of a sea in the dark potion. Which you really need since the release, uh, they changed the darkness during the night and even sometimes in the woods during the day it's really dark you can't see anything and if you want to hunt you will die and you can't even like farm which was always easy in the night or during the night because you could just uh, hunt and do all the stuff you needed during the day and in the night you could make your fields um, because you don't need sleep you only need food and water. So, where is the quest giver? Let's check it out. Over there somewhere. It looks quite nice. All the little stuff around. Here he is, Uni Ghost. Let's see. Those eyes. I think I would see them again. 
One blue as the sky and the other black like a lump of coal. Are you alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. That's funny. My grandmother you used to describe them exactly the same way. Um, let's go like this. So you're not a ghost. Good. For a second there I thought I'd lost it. But your eyes, you look just like him. Sorry, you must have mistaken me with someone. I'm new in these parts. Just arrived at the valley, actually. My name is Rasmir. I'm Vanda's son, aren't you? Jordan's nephew. What? Did you know my mother? Not really. I knew of her. She didn't ever actually. We didn't ever actually meet. He wanted to keep his family separate. I don't think I understand. You will. Wait. What do you mean by did I know her? Is she well? I hope she is now, wherever that might be. I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it, this world. <sighs> I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Nobody should lose their loved ones and at such a young age. It's okay. They've died so I could live. And I plan to make the best of this life that I can in order to honor the sacrifice. Let's go with this version. That's very mature of you. I'm sure they would be proud hearing that. You mentioned my uncle Jordan. I actually came here looking for him. Oh, Razimir, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Your uncle Jordan is no longer with us. He passed away three years ago. I'm so sorry. I understand how you must feel. He was a dear friend of mine. So that's it. I'm the only one left. But I think I'll go with... Oh no, that can't be. What happened? Don't worry. He died peacefully in his sleep. He didn't suffer. I can promise you that. So what should I do now? You're free to go wherever you like and start a new life. I hereby grant you the permission of the Castellan to build and farm on any unutilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. Just like that? I can take the land free of charge? Well, you'd have to pay taxes to the king annually. But apart from that, you're f as free as to do as you please. As long as you don't break the law, of course, or at least don't get caught doing so. That sounds amazing. The valley looks beautiful as well. I think I'll stay here and see what fate has in store of me. I'm glad to hear that. You can find resources all over the land. Grab a few rocks and a stick from the ground and craft yourself a simple axe. With it, you can cut down trees and chop them into logs. Then you can create a wooden hammer that will be crucial in the building process. I'm sure you get the hang of it. When you build yourself a home, come back to Gostovia and talk to my wife, Dobroniega. She manages the tavern. Ask her to feed you. You must be famished. And then grab some beers for both of us and come back. I'll tell you some stories about Jordan. That sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so we will have to find a place um, where we want to build our new settlement. And we will have to collect resources, as always in a survival game. And that's it. Um, I really like the videos they do as to how to do stuff. Um, here's our first female villager we might be able to get but I'm not sure that I want to have her so we will well first we have to do our home anyway otherwise we can't get other people but in the end you will have lots of uh, villagers who will do the work for the village and you're kind of free to roam around and do as you please or help them preferably so they don't die in the winter. <laughs> we will see if they changed something about clothes and winter. That will be interesting. Ooh, mushrooms. Something to eat, always good. 
And we've got a new level. Let's check it out. Okay, there are the skills. And I think I'll go with survival knowledge since I get more experience from it. I don't need the temperature tolerance at the moment and the higher poisoning resistance. I don't need either. Yes, I'm sure. So let's check it out. The broadleaf plant is a herb used to heal yourself. The daisy is used to reduce the thirst and the dandelion is slowing the loss of stamina. But we also have something else, don't we? This St. John's word. Um, detoxifying purposes. So whenever I eat something I shouldn't be eating, I can stuff myself with that probably. And be fine afterwards. At least that's the idea. Okie dokie. So I think um, I will start building my village around here. It's nice because you have all the villagers in reach. Only those two are a little far away. And you can also, you have the kind of lake around or river lake I'm not sure how to call that and you have enough free space um, to create a big village with all the fields and animal pastures you need uh, we can also try to build ourselves our first axe yes Uh, the maple trees are the best one. They give, uh, I think it's five logs or four. The spruce tree only gives three logs. And there's another one which only gives two logs. So for our home, we would want to have lots of logs. And we will have to cut them down. I mean, I wouldn't be able to cut a tree down like that. Especially with one hand. I'm not sure how this guy does it. But he's young and strong. So I guess that's the magic of it. Okay. So we've got our first tree. It tells me to cut down five. I think I might need more. And I would like to build a stone house. Because I think it's easier and much better than the... I'm not sure how, how they call it, but there is a wood house and a fetch house, I think. So, I will try going for the stone house. And I should really try to go to the other villages and do the quests, because otherwise... Um, I might have problems in the winter. Some quests give you... Uh... Oops, there it is. Some uh, quests give you clothing. And you really need clothing in the winter. They change the system, so without clothes you will freeze to death. You can hardly leave the hut. Or at least that's what they... the internet says. So we'll see how that works out. And there we go. Where is another one? Here. And we're down to the last one we probably will need. I think we will need two or three more of them, but we will see. Uh, mushrooms. Get all the mushrooms you can. And sticks. We also always need sticks. Oh, we don't want to get the berries because, as you can see, they're unripe at the beginning. And they will just give me food poisoning. And I don't like food poisoning. And you see, it's already quite dark, even though it's still sunny. So they did change the darkness of the game altogether. Okay, let's get this tree too. And you see there's uh, a little bridge over here. We will go there now because 
Uh, I found out that since the 1.0 release, they put some kegs around, some barrels um, near the shore. I'm not sure where it was. So we're going to find it. And you should always drink some water whenever you can. I mean, there's always some water nearby, but if you're working or cutting trees or building your house, you don't want to have to run and get a drink. So drink whenever you can, even if you're nearly full, because you will need it. Let's see. We only have 20 stones. That's not enough. We need more... Mm, more, 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 more stones. A lot of, lot, a lot. Lots and lots of stones. So, here we go. Sticks, stones. Sticks and stones won't break my bones. Well, that's something different. Oh, there are fish, but we can't fish yet. We don't have any fishing equipment. Okay, so all the way back and grab all the stones we can. Um, later on you can get a talent where you can see stuff lying on the ground, like stones or all the flowers and herbs and sticks. The sticks are a bit too much, I think, but I like that you can see stones finally. And even later on you can also see animals. Uh, that really helps with hunting. Because then you can also hunt during the night. But it takes stamina. And if you don't have enough stamina, you can't pull the bow, which results in not hunting at all. Or getting killed, because, well, some beasts or wild animals will attack you. Like the wolf. And also the boar. So I hope I will find some rabbits and be able to kill them because since the update somehow the spears don't stick to the animals anymore. They just uh, kind of bounce off. And here you see um, I only do one spear instead of five and it takes about eight seconds I think it was. Um, so it would be 5 multiplied by 8, and that's not that bad, but if you're like um, creating meat and you have about 100 meat on you, and one meat takes 3 seconds, you guess where I'm going. It's going to take you ages to do this stuff, so yes. I hope this will be better. And you don't have to wait as long anymore. Okay, so... Daisies will take you. Stones. Ah, uh, we have 63 stones. That should be better. Um, we'll try to do it now. Yes, another update. That's good. Oh, we also need some reeds which will be straw, and with the straw we can build our roof. Uh, reeds are always found near rivers or lakes, mostly rivers. And here they are. And I'll collect about a hundred, I'll need them eventually, and it gives me some points in survival, so that's fine with me. And it's kind of fast, so... No, come on. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the lightning and the way the water works. I think it's quite nice. They did a good job. Okay, now. 
I think the music's nice too. It's kind of soft in the background. Hunting Lodge, very nice. We will not build a Hunting Lodge outright because we don't have anyone to man it, so it doesn't really help having a Hunting Lodge. But we will need a Hunting Lodge and a wood cutting. Woodcutters. That's the first things you'll need. And uh, it's also, it helps to have something like a resource and a food stall. I don't know how they call it. But, oops, another stone. Well, here we are. Um, over there where there are less trees, this will be our way of um, creating our fields and stuff like that. So I think I'll, I'll just put my nice shiny house here, right next to the street. Um, but first we need to make a wooden hammer and I'll need to make a knife because once I'm hunting, I'll forget to do it. And you need a knife to skin your animals. And here is the building tutorial. Which is nice too. They changed the building, uh, how it is made or stuck to the floor. Normally it would be like this, but if you have a slope or something like that, uh, well, we will see it later on. If you have a slope, uh, it will change and it will get like um, a staircase going up. So you can build even in not flat terrain. Oh, uh, I need to get the hammer and I just saw I have another skill there we go um, so either it's survival senses which I will get because as I said I can see mushroom feathers herbs everything yes I want that and now we have the water dancer which is fast moving in water I don't need it yet um, Alcohol resistance, I don't need it at the moment. Slow loss of food and water is nice, but I think I'll go with survival knowledge again. Because later on, if I have a wife, I can change my stuff. And first, I will need something like this so my level is increased faster. Okay, let's start building. As I said, this is the wet wall. Um, we will change it to a stone wall and we have to do that all around and I want to have a window here too so we can put windows in we can put normal walls in this I will leave and here is the door which will also be uh, stone and we have to make stone here and here I cannot change the thatch roof into a wooden tile roof or a wooden roof because it takes too much at the beginning. So I will stay with this. Oh, I've got more straw than I thought I would. But it's okay too. Since I can carry it. Oh, I only have 11 logs so I will have to go out and get more logs. As you can see the windowed walls need two logs. And the normal walls only need one log. Uh, they also changed the hammer, kind of. It's stranger. I thought the first one was better. Door also needs two logs, which is strange because, well, one, two, three. But okay. it would probably be too much if we have more than two logs. Per wall. Okay, so let's see how many locks I've left. I think oh, stones are getting. Okay, that's that's it with the locks. And now I hope I have enough stone. I should have enough stone. Oh, maybe not. We will see. So eight stone for this wall, and then I've got. One, uh, four for this. Okay. Very good. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six logs. Okay. So it's about two 
trees. I need to cut them. But I will go for um, four trees or something like this because you always need logs. Anything you do it in the beginning, it's logs. So, oh, I need two here. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Mm -mm -mm, mushrooms. Yes, um, in the evening you can sleep, you should sleep. I normally don't sleep, especially in the beginning, because there's too much to do and no time at all. So, let's cut down the next tree. Oh, and I need stones because my tools are going to break soon. So, more stones again. Locks and stones is the first thing you really need. Yes, the food. The food. Sorry, I changed it too fast. Where is it? Um, food, here it is. Yes, you need to eat. And... Rotten food, bad food, food poisoning can all happen. If I eat them, for example, I get food poisoning. And if I have food poisoning, okay, I can eat whatever I want. I won't kind of, I won't get any food into me. Um, so I'll eat the St. John's worth and now I'm better. I guess I'll stay with the dried meat. And I need quite a bit of dried meat. I have an appetite. I guess. Oh yes, now we have the new uh, talent where we can see stones and stuff like that. So whenever I press Alt I will see everything there is to see. And you see the stamina bar is decreasing quite fast, so I can't always look around like that. But I can like check which direction I want to go and... There was something in there, never mind. And then reorient myself with the talent. There was something. I heard something. Some. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Um. I forgot to. What's that? Is that a stink? What's that? I can. I hardly see it. Oh, that was nothing. Where is it? Ah. Uh... There we go. No. Okay, I cannot get it. And I'm not fast enough to run. That I know already. So, no chance of getting that one at the moment. Next time I will have to, well, start during the day first off and then be more careful when I hear something. Okay, there we go. Let's see how many locks we have after this one. We already have some feathers, which is always good, or was good. I don't know how feathers will be in this game. Last game it was like death thing to make money off. Easy to come by. Now I didn't check how much how many locks I have. I have 12. Okay, that that's okay. It isn't much, but I think it's okay. So I'll go back and finish my house. Whenever you get your hammer out, you can see all the buildings you still have, um, which are not done. That's also a nice thing 
to orient yourself. Oh, nice. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to light the fire. Because, well, you see, it's really dark. Even the, the fire doesn't really reach the beds. And it's cut off, kind of. Yeah, they changed the fire too. But I have a new technology. I can make a resource torch. Which will be nice later on. But I won't build it tonight. Um, tonight I'm going to... Oh, get out of the house, hopefully. Thank you. Yeah, you really need a torch. If you're somewhere inside. Okay, so here's another quest, which is okay. Here's a quest, but they're free down here. So I'm going to hunt, uh, get down there. And oops, there we go. No, there we go. 1000. Oops, we're down to water. Let's see. Okay, I'll get water and then I'll run there. Otherwise, I will probably not reach it. Or have to make a detour. There we go. Okay, it's read, 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 read. Okay, water. Nice. Now let's run. And jump, please. No, okay. Then we go around it. Well, we're now at 30 minutes, so. I will run there, hopefully I won't get attacked by wolves, and later on I'll make another Let's Play. See you soon!